Welcome to Active Classroom. Today we're focusing on searching and finding those special activities that you need and want to use with your students. To begin, we're going to log in at www.activeclassroom.com. Use your school email address and the password you were provided. If you're logging in through Clever, ClassLink, or Google Classroom, you'll also find opportunities to log in here, as well as your school may have provided special ways for you to enter Active Classroom through your own portals. Beginning here on our homepage, you'll find the icons on our left are our table of contents. The one we're going to be using now is the search feature for activities. Let's click on activities. And here in our activities section, we have more than 5,000 activities that are all in alphabetical order, ready for you to search and find just what you need. Let's begin. I'm going to start by adding a keyword search, Declaration of Independence. I'm going to come over and I'm going to use my search feature and click search to see how many activities I can find. Well, there are 20 activities per page and five pages, so I found 100 activities related to the Declaration of Independence. That is a lot of activities. Look at the activities we just found. There were a multitude of different types, audio, decision-making, maps, image analysis, more maps, PowerPoints, reading, simulations, a variety of videos, and more, all located here in one place, searchable, to meet your needs. Let's try a different type of search this time and see what kind of results we yield. This time, let's try adding a search, subject, and a theme. This time, we're gonna begin with world history, and then we're gonna use one of the big nine eras of world history. And I've selected era six for our choice. Once you've selected era six for world history, I'm gonna hit the search tool See what we get. Wow, look at this. 20 activities per page, 180 activities available for World History Era 6. That's a lot of activities. Let's see if we can narrow that down a bit. I've added in this time the keyword exploration, still kept Era 6 and World History and conducted my search, and now I am down to just two pages of activities, a much better number of activities to deal with than the original 180. Okay, it's your turn. I want you guys to hit pause on the play, but uh, hit pause on the video. And I want you to go in and try the searches that we just saw demonstrated. When you're finished, come back and click play. Well, I hope everybody had a very successful search. Now we'll try search using our standards. So this time in my black toolbar here, I'm selecting the word standards. Now, whether you're in Georgia, Arizona, California, or wherever, the standards are gonna be set to your specific state. So all I'm gonna do is come in and add in my grade level that I do want my state standards and update. Once I've done this, I populate my page with the state standards, and in this case, I'm using Georgia. Notice that my last standard here is 7G1A. Keep that in mind because what I want to do is I want to put that at the top of my page, and then underneath, you'll see that I still have those 5,000 activities all in alphabetical order. So what I want to do is I want to just use this one standard to search and see what kind of results I get. This time, I've clicked on 7G1A, and I get two pages of results. I still have 40 activities to choose from. That's a lot of activities to have to pick through when I'm not even sure about the platform itself yet. So here's what we've been able to do for you because your school district purchased custom curriculum maps. Custom curriculum maps are made based on your state standards and your district scope and sequence. Here, the last icon on your homepage is for curriculum maps. 
If you click there, we're going to get a downloaded list of all the custom curriculum maps that we've made special for you. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Grade 7 World Studies and stay with that 7G1A. Here you can see there are Georgia Standards 7G1 and here's A. So for Unit 1, Weeks 1 through 3, we're going to be using 1A, B, 2, Part of 3, Part of 4, and you can see that we're using a number of the standards here that are related to Africa. Let's take a look. Look at this. Each week, we have prescribed day-by-day -day suggestions of activities for you to use in Active Classroom. We've also provided teaching notes, ways for you to get started with each of these different types of activities. Now, let's take a look. Looking down the column for view, let's select African Geography Themes, and let's see what we have over here. The first in our table of contents is location. Let's look at location. Our location is providing us with a great map of Africa that is interactive and allows students to actually write and place things on the map as described in the slides that are att attached with it. In addition to that, not only do we have the map on location, we also have a variety of other reading or video options. For water pollution, we have a video followed by multiple choice questions. Then we have deforestation and desertification, all of which are related to the African geography themes. Now, isn't that a much easier method than doing keyword or even subject and era search? Now you have day-by-day -day suggestions. And as you get to learn the various activities and series titles in Active Classroom, You'll be better informed to make your own decisions as you go forward. All right, everyone, from water pollution to now it's your turn. Let's see what you can find on your curriculum map. Check it out.